A simple network management protocol is a very short topic, also known as SNMP, commonly referred to as SNMP actually. Uh, so the management framework, the management framework solution for TCP IP networks were introduced as hardware and software increased. So you have so many devices within your network that you're supposed to manage. So they had to come up with a management framework solution. That solution is SNMP. So in order to support rapid network growth, simple network management protocol was originally adapted from a simpler SGMP protocol for use as the basis for common network management throughout the system. Please mute your mic. SNMP has since experienced version revisions, however, remains the standard protocol for network management. Uh, I'm aware that uh, IETF is working on another version of SNMP. I think it's going to be known as NetConf for net configuration, network configuration. So there's another version of SNMP that is going to come out very soon. So the SNMP framework, as well as the Supporting Management Information Base, MIP, MIB, Management Information Base, act as the foundation for network management. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry. It's like my network, uh, my network broke. I'm sorry. So the SNMP framework, as well as the supporting management information base, MIP, act as the foundation for network management and are introduced in support of well-rounded understanding of the network management framework for TCP IP in this chapter. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to A volunteer, please. You should be able to describe the SNMP architecture and the message behavior. Yes. Describe the function of the management information base uh -huh. and configure general SNMP parameters and traps. Asante sana bonakichinda. So let's talk about this. Now, as the network engineer, you'll have a workstation, a desktop or a laptop computer that you'll use to monitor your network, to do configurations and so on and so forth. That particular machine is normally referred to as an NMS, a network management system, a network management system. Now, your NMS, most of the time, will be placed in a part of, an, of the network that will be able to access all the other parts of your network and all the other network equipment. Hmm. These other network equipment like switches, layer two switches, layer three switches, routers, are normally referred to as network elements. Network elements. Hmm. So any SNMP, this particular protocol here, is used to communicate management information between the NMS, between the NMS and the network elements. So that's the main purpose. Uh, that's the main purpose of simple network management protocol. Mm. Now, other than helping you to configure uh, these particular network elements, it can also help in terms of reporting uh, uh, when you have errors within your network. So for example, if this particular uh, segment maybe goes down, maybe, maybe that interface goes down. Hmm? So this particular network element will send a message which is known as a trap to notify you in your network management system that, hey, uh, there's this problem. So 
they'll be able to, to communicate to you and notify you almost immediately. This supports real-time, real-time detection of network issues so that we can ensure that the uptime is, is as high as possible. Because if an issue occurs, we get alerted and we sort it out as soon as possible. Mm. So that's the main purpose of SNMP, to allow you to send configuration messages and back and to also receive alerts in case we have a problem within your network. So let's see how that works. So every network element, every network element, uh, be it a switch, a router, uh, or any other network element, usually has what we call a management agent an agent, a management agent. Hmm. The management agent is used to either retrieve or set variables in what we call a MIB or a management information base. Uh, so we're going to see the MIB in the next chapter. Hmm. In the next slide, I'm sorry. So here in the MIB, we have all the variables, like the system name, the system location, the system blah, 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 the IP address of an interface, everything that you can think of is in the management information base. So the agent enables uh, that retrieving and setting and changing of those variables through messages such as notify, execute, and so on and so forth. So your NMS or your network management system will actually be interacting directly with the MIB through SNMP, uh, with, the, with the management agent, with the management agent. So agents exist within network elements through which NMS, your, your machine that you're using to monitor the network, interact to either retrieve or alter parameter variables in the management information base. Uh, okay. So this is what we call the management information base. It's used to specify the variables maintained by network elements. Used to specify the variables maintained by the network elements. Mm. Normally it is organized in a tree, in a tree like uh, structure, in a tree like structure. So you have the root, then you go to uh, uh, a particular uh, 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 category like ISO, and the ISO you can go to the identified organized cate category, then you can go to the DOD, then from DOD you can go to internet, from internet you can be able to manage the directory or uh, you can go under management. Under management, you can be able to ma manage the system view. You can be able to configure the interface. You can be able to configure a number of other protocols like ICMP, uh, IP, etc., etc. So it's actually organized in that tree-like structure. Mm -hmm. So that is what we call the management information base. So these variables, for example, uh, the interface, uh, 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 maybe the interface configuration, they are actually queried and set by the management agent, by the management agent, which we looked at in the previous, in the previous slide. Okay, so let's see. Let's now look at the SNMP operation. The SNMP operation uh, is, of course, as we've said, between your network management system, your NMS, so a process, of course, within your NMS, and the network element management agent process. So they're going to be interacting uh, using UDP, using UDP port 61 and also UDP port 62. 
they use a number of uh, of uh, uh, packets to do that. One of them is known as the get request packet. Get request indicates that the management process reads the next parameter. Uh, get request is actually used to to read one or more parameter values from the management information base of the agent process. So get request. We want to read a certain value, like maybe the IP address or something, something. Then when we send a get request, the management agent process is going to reply uh, the value of that particular variable uh, using the get response message. Then get next request is exactly that. When you want to read the next parameter value, uh, in the in the what they call the lexicographic order, that is, in the in the in, in the we are following the tree, so we are going deeper deeper into the tree, so that is get next request. Uh, when we want the next parameter deeper into the tree, mm. then of course when we send get next request, we'll always get a get response, and we also have the set request. The set request is used when we want to set one or more parameters in the in the in the management information base of the agent process uh, so we want to configure an ip address we want to configure the system name we will send the system name using the packet set request uh, when we do that we will get feedback uh, using the get response message now other than that Sometimes your switch or your router might get an issue. For example, an interface has failed or something. When that happens, your, your switch or your router will send you, the network administrator in your computer, uh, what we call a trap message. So your network management system is actually listening on UDP 162 uh, for a trap message. And a trap message is simply used to inform the management process of important or critical events within your network. Most of the time, failures. Hmm. Something maybe I should have mentioned earlier is that most of the time, SNMP actually uses a, it uses a software. It uses a software to, to, to monitor the network. So for example, the Huawei software that is used for uh, uh, network management is called eSight. eSight. In the previous version, if you go into the notes, you'll get a topic uh, about eSight. But eSight is simply the, uh, the network monitoring and management software that has been created by Huawei. It can be used in any network irrespective of the vendor equipment that that network uh, actually is using. Because again, all those devices uh, implement SNMP. So most of the time, it's not like you're installing SNMP in your, in your machine, no. You have a software, then that software is utilizing SNMP. So it's important that you remember these message types, especially trap, that is one of the most examined parts in the exam. Now, as we said, SNMP has improved uh, over the years through several versions. One of them was SNMP version one. Then they went to SNMP version two. Then that was improved to SNMP version 2C. Uh, so what we are looking here right now. Mm. Now, uh, in particular, one of the major improvements from version 2 to version 2C was the introduction of another protocol data unit, which is known as the get bulk request. And another one known as the information request. Uh, get bulk. So, Abo Numa, to Miona, get request, set request, trap and the others. So in SNMP version 2C, they introduced get bulk request, which is used to allow information from multiple objects 
to be retrieved in a single request. Uh, so when you want to receive uh, several feedback uh, from the same command, then it's going to use the get bulk request. Then you have the inform request. The inform request is when your network management system, for example, you have two computers that you're using to monitor uh, uh, and manage the network. So when they exchange any information about the network, then they use the information request. Uh, so it is a manager to manager communication PDU used where one manager sends information from an N MIB view to another, to another manager. Uh, so your, your machine sends a request to, to the other person. Uh, sends a message, sorry. Please uh, disable your camera, Wes. So that is the informed request. Y you are asking for information from another uh, network management system. Uh, so that is how they, that is used. And the other one was the bit counter. Uh, 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 in SNMP version one, they used to use a 32 bit counter. Uh, but in SNMP version 2C, they, they extended that to 64 bits. Uh, so th there's this thing here they call the counter. Uh, you, you can read more in the notes to, to understand how it is used. But in the meantime, just understand that it used to be a 32-bit value. And that used to cause uh, what we call a wrap. Uh, that is, uh, it, it was easy for the for the values to, to go and then begin from the beginning uh, due to the uh, communication that was happening between the NMS and the network elements. But now with a 64-bit counter, it actually helped to prevent the counter wrap. So if you read the notes, you might uh, understand that better. The other version of SNMP uh, that was introduced was NMP uh, SNMP version three, and uh, the major advantage of SNMP version three was to introduce security mechanisms uh, that supported data integrity. We already know that data origin, authentication, uh, confidentiality, and also timely message delivery. Yeah. So when you're talking of this data, it is the data that we are sending from the MIB. Those variable values, when we send a GET request, uh, so that data, as it's being transported uh, between your network element and the network management system, then we, we have some level of security. They are encrypted, for example, uh, or it is converted into a message digest. Uh, using encryption algorithms and those other algorithms that we looked at in the previous chapter. So that was the biggest leap when it came to SNMP version three. The other, uh, the, the other SNMP versions did not cater for security. Yeah. So you see here, we send a GET request, then uh, we get a GET response, but it has been encrypted. So uh, people, people cannot hack and see uh, some of the parameters that we are getting from our network management systems, from our network elements, I'm sorry. Now, it is important to note that uh, in, um, in Huawei routers, it only supports SNMP version one, SNMP version 2C, and SNMP version three. So version one, 2C and version 3. Again, this is a common question in the exam. I don't know why they like asking such questions just to make people fail. Uh, so please make sure you remember that. So it does not support version 2. It only supports 2C, not version 2. Uh, okay, so let's see how, how do we configure uh, uh, a network element to be an, an SNMP agent. To do that, we use the command, 
So we want to configure RTA to be an SNMP agent. So we enable that under system view. Then we choose, we choose the, the version of SNMP we want to use by typing the command SNMP hyphen agent, sys hyphen info version space V2C. Then after that, we enable. So by default, trap messages are disabled. So if we want trap to, to uh, if we want to get a notification, if anything goes wrong in this router, then we need to enable trap under system view. After enabling it, it's going to ask us, do you really want to do this? So just type Y for yes, then enter. Then after enabling trap, the next thing you need to do is to specify the interface via which the trap should be sent out. Uh, that interface should be the interface uh, uh, that actually is uh, directly connected to your network management system. So here we, we configure the SNMP agent trap source as gigabit ethernet zero stroke zero stroke one, which is this interface here. Uh, so it is important to remember that that whenever you are you are you you're configuring the trap source, you have to specify the interface that is pointing towards the location of your network management system. So we can verify uh, what we've just done by using the command display SNMP hyphen agent space sys hyphen info then we can, can actually see a number, number of details, the contact person, the physical location of that particular node. And you can also see the version. But here we are configuring version uh, 2C. So that is it about SNMP, quite a short topic, quite a short topic. So two volunteers to answer these questions. Lynn, you've been quiet. You can take up one of them. Please choose. Um, which version of SNMP is or are enabled by default? <laughs> um, for Huawei, it's uh, version 1, version 2C, and version 3. Thank you very much, Lynn. Uh -huh. Who else has been quiet? Nick, you can take up the next one. Wes, give it a try. Um, what is the destination port number that is used by an agent to forward traps to a network management station? Uh, uh -huh. This should be UDP port 160. Two? Yes, exactly. So UDP port 162 is the one that is used to listen, uh, to listen for UDP, uh, for, for SNMP trap messages. Thank you very much, Wes. That is the end of this particular chapter. Asante Nisana.